me, Monkey Nuts. It's me, Jack, live for the Monkey House, and this is the Great Trade Off! That's right. Ooh, boy. My voice is not going to hold out from sheer exhaustion on today's edition of Live for the Monkey House because we are playing the Great Trade Off, the game where we master the art of the conversational deal. If you've never made a trade before, Oh, well, you haven't lived making a trade. Why, that's as, uh, th as kid-like as peanut butter and jelly or, or riding bikes on the sidewalk. I swear, I think I was born knowing how to trade. And uh, to prove it, we're going to play the great trade-off with one pint-sized trader at a time. And now it's time to make a trade for the item that I brought in here to the trading pit. It's my repeating kazoo. This thing's amazing. Every time that I say something, the repeating kazoo copies it perfectly. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Why am I getting rid of this thing? This repeating kazoo can revolutionize radio here on Kids Place Live. But I am prepared to give it up because I'm always after that next deal. So let's bring in our pint-sized trader now. All the way from Florida, audience, put your paws together for London! Hello, London, how are you? I'm good. Great, London, are you driving a monster truck right now? It sounds amazing where you are. Um, yes, I am. You are? Okay, you're behind the wheel of Bigfoot, the world's most famous monster truck. This is a first here on Live for the Monkey House. I'm so happy you're here. Well, London, uh, say hello, please, to the Live for the Monkey House repeating kazoo. Uh, it's right here. Just say hi to it. Hello. Oh, it worked. It just repeated what you said back in kazooish, the international language of kazoos. This kazoo could be yours. It's an amazing invention. Uh, this kazoo repeats back anything that it hears uh, within reason. Uh, I think it's got to be 20 seconds or less. Otherwise, it has to take a breath. Uh, London, why do you want this kazoo? Um, because I like making music. Oh, you do? Uh, are you a musician uh, outside of the kazoo arts? Are you a singer or an instrumentalist? Like, how do you make music right now without this kazoo? Um, I sing. Okay, great. Well, okay. you can sing with a kazoo in your mouth. Um, it's a little bit, a little messy, a little slight, it'll change the timbre of your voice, but you'll sound great. You'll sound like Bigfoot, the uh, famous monster truck, when you sing with one of these babies in. But London, I gotta know, what did you bring to trade for the repeating kazoo? I brought a big mummy in a coffin. Ah! Ah! Oh, but look at that! It's just right there in the back seat of your monster truck. Is, wait, is that why it's called a monster truck? Because there's a mummy in the back seat? Yes. Oh, very scary. I never never thought about why it's called a monster truck. I thought it was just because the truck looked like a monster. But, of course, you've got a monster as your co-pilot back there. Tell us about this mummy, London. What does it look like, and how did it show up in your car with you? Well, it looks... Um, like a mummy, technically. And okay. this is not just any mummy. A mummy. Oh. This is King Tut's mummy. Oh, the famous mummy. Um, uh, who, uh, yeah, a very story, a lot of history about King Tut. Uh, including, um, uh, I think back in the 1970s, uh, when uh, King Tut's tomb was finally uh, discovered and cracked open. This is very, uh, very interesting. Uh, does King Tut have anything to say to us? Uh, is King Tut a, a chatty person? No, he is not. Okay, mum's the word. Okay, so if you like having car companions, but you don't want your ear talked off, King Tut would be a great car companion. Just he's going to sit in the back seat there and mind his own business. Is that true? Yes. Okay, two more questions. Question number one, if King Tut is riding in the car with you, uh, does that mean that you can drive in that high occupancy vehicle lane? You know, like the carpool lane where only the cars with a lot of people in them can drive. Does he count as a person for going into that lane? Yes, he does. Oh, very nice. This is like having a fast pass at Disneyland. Okay. And second question, what are the uh, condition of his uh, bandages? Are the bandages looking clean, like a fresh roll of toilet paper? Or are they sort of soiled and tattered and falling off? I'm just curious. They're nice and clean, but me and my dad painted it so people won't touch it. Oh, uh, what'd you paint it with? 
Um, we painted it with green and grass and spray paint. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Wow. Amazing. A multicolored, freshly ornamented King Tut mummy riding in the back seat. Who could give you a fast pass uh, into the HOV lane? Well, London, I'm sold on this. I, I will uh, miss my repeating kazoo, but man, I would love to have a, 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 a an occupant in the back seat of the car. I'm ready to make this trade. Does this feel like a fair trade to you, London? Yes. Okay. We got to turn it over to our audience now. They are the judges of this whole thing. No, they didn't put on these robes for nothing. Audience, do you feel like a repeating kazoo for a well ornamented I'm in. mummy in the backseat of a car? I'm coming to you in a few minutes. Of the great trade off. Do we have a deal? Yes! We have a deal, London. Congratulations. This kazoo is yours. And if you could um, get that mummy to just sort of lurk, <laughs> lurk on the side of the road, I'll pick him up. I'll just I'll start driving around in Florida until I see him there. He won't be hard to miss. <laughs> Thank you for calling, London. Thank you. See you later. Well, there goes London. Oh, goodbye, repeating kazoo. <laughs> oh, that's the last time you're going to repeat me. <laughs> It was.